Hi guys, what's up? Zilla Shots, welcome back to this Let's Play of LA Noir. We're at part six now uh, on our third uh, traffic division mission. Bukowski, you have a new case. Two women, possible drink drive. How was that a case? The broad says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. Where did this take place? That's the bitch you're gonna love. Right across the street. What? A Chevy style Can't believe it. a nosedive off the escarpment, fetched up underneath a Cola King billboard. Up to it, boys. We got bad guys to catch. Hey, well, don't don't be sexist because there could be bad girls to catch as well. See you later, fellers. Try not to work too hard. Don't leave the girls out of it. I'm just trying to fit in. Educated, hardworking, straight as an arrow. <laughs> Shut the door on you there. Come on, Bukowski. Maybe I should have not run away. There he comes. But it is nearby, but it's up there. So it's going to be a bit of a uh, detour. A bit of a circular route to get to the place. Looks like the one. Stop just ahead. Sure thing. There's Carruthers down there. Could they start early? Her face looks familiar. Well, that's June Ballard, <laughs> Tarzan's sister, beast of the Amazon. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain has moved to Vegas now, but the two of them still have juice. Phelps, traffic. Detective Phelps. Hey, Bukowski. Long time no see. You could have called this in by megaphone, Enrique. <laughs> Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? Broad drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. Her story is that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Was anyone hurt? Driver's beat up. Not too bad considering. If she hadn't hit that billboard, we'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. Passengers are Jessica Hamilton. She's just a kid. She's pretty knocked around. Kid gonna be all right? I think so. They've taken her to Central Receiving. If you want to take a look around, stall the ambulance. Thanks. Do that. One more thing. Watch out for the driver. She cuts rough. Something hey. about June Ballard. Uh, we'll not. The corner, he's down by the crash site. Uh, yeah, I, was, uh, I think we'll go and speak to Carruthers before um, we speak to June Ballard. Nice landscape. Um, vision. Vision? Um, image. Or whatever. View. View is the word. View of LA. Yeah, that is close. Look at that. There, played out on the trunk, and that isn't even the best part. Let's have a look. Oh god. Okay. They've been torn off. Where did you find them? They were stuffed in the young lady's handbag. I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab. Oh. This makes it worse as well because they're so like, they're like the child's, oh I don't know, it's just disgusting. Um, here we are, we have a letter. Um, I know maybe a bit of a pain but I'm going to quickly read through it and I'll, I'll tell you why. Is that if you do want to read it, I don't know, you know, how long you take to read it. Um, She's a long way from home. So I'm just going to quickly go through it. Please, please, dear, come home. If you're worried about your father, don't be. All is forgiven. He has a hot temper and he can be very 
proud, but you, you are still his little girl and he loves you. I know he didn't mean those things he said. You're a good, decent girl, dear, and you're not made for Hollywood. I was 15 months myself. I just wanted to be like Clara Bow and wore lo wear lovely dresses and kiss handsome men, but I grew up and married your father. <laughs> I realised I would ne never had been happy in that life. You'll realise it one day too. I'm sure Aunt Jeannie is looking after you, but I can't help worrying. You know what your old mother's like. The world is a very dangerous place for young girls, especially ones with stars in their eyes. Stars are nice to look at, but sometimes they can blind you to what's right in front of your nose. Emma and Molly I miss you awfully. Emma's getting so pretty now, and little Molly is so is bright as a button, just like you were at her age. Uh, they need their big sister to look out look out for them. Dear, dear Jesse, please come back. I'm frightened for you. I can't help feeling something terrible is going to happen. I cry for you every night. Your loving mother, Camille Hamilton. I hope you understood that. Maybe that was a bit too quick. Looks like they're lucky they weren't more badly injured. Must have been unconscious. Being relaxed tends to lessen the soft tissue damage. Okay. Um, I've looked around here. It's the same one again. Drunk driver? Maybe not. How so? Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. See what you think. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. <laughs> Is it real? No. I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian truck and head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the casting marks? Um. What's it made from? Plaster of Paris would be my first guess, then paint it. So we can rule out the murder angle? No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. Whoever did it wanted these women dead. Wedging it to the floor. Can I manage that? It's, it's circular. It'll just roll off. Someone managed to tip their ride straight off a cliff. If the driver's in a fit state, we should ask. Yeah, I just don't understand how that. I mean, I can understand when wedging it under the brakes, but um, putting it on top, it should just roll around. But there you go. I'm sure they thought it through. Also, they refer to it as a shrunken head. It implies it was bigger before. Anyway. Maybe I'm being way too pedantic. I was going to where the car was for some reason. That's the only icon I saw, so I just sort of naturally gravitated towards it. Is Jean Mrs. McAfee, Bowers? We would like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. I prefer to use my maiden name, June Ballard. You June might Ballard. Be familiar with some of my work? Can you tell us what happened here? You're kind of cute for a cop. Maybe a bit on the serious side. What about me, June? I'm a big fan of you? beasts. I don't like. Keep out of this. <laughs> You've been told, Bukowski. Doping allegation. I understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claim that you were drugged. Who did this to you? That rat slipped us on Mickey Finn. It's no wonder I feel so dopey. I can't remember. Uh, can't remember. Uh, back up. It's a serious offense to withhold information from the police during a criminal investigation, madam. I told you to call me June. You're making me feel like an old lady. And don't bother your handsome head about this. My husband will settle the score with Mark Bishop. Injured female passenger. What can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. <laughs> what more can I say?
Bad cop. Shite. How old is Jessica, Mrs. Ballard? I couldn't say how old Jessica is. Old enough, sweetheart, as the saying goes. Fake shrunken head. We found a shrunken head. It was used to tamper with your car. You see, I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. Um, bad cop. It's obviously some kind of movie prop. You must know where it came from. In case you hadn't noticed, I am the talent. And the talent doesn't deal with props or sets or any of that kind of stuff. Why don't you ask Mark Bishop which prop house he uses? Uh, who is this Mark Bishop? You mentioned a Mark Bishop. You think he might have had something to do with this? He is a movie producer. As for his involvement, you just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. No, and bad cop. I want to know what happened between you two that made him want to commit a double murder. Bishop offered me a part in his picture. Then he withdrew it. Fact is, we had a deal. I pressed him on it. And this is where I am. Mrs. McAfee, I think it would be in everyone's best interest if you accompanied Patrolman Gonzalez back to the receiving hospital. I'm going to be okay. These guys can take me home after my lawyer and I have talked to the news house. Mrs. McAfee, you are still under the influence of narcotics, and you're likely to go into shock once the drugs wear off. And I thought you were a heel. It's nice of you to be concerned. I think we're good here. Let's go see what we can shake out of the kid. It's interesting how she was talking to Cole there. It was almost like she she kept saying, um, "Don't worry about it. We'll get we'll get some boys to come and deal with um, uh, Mark. Uh, I've forgotten his name. <laughs> to oh, it's a, a people. I want to make this point. I want to find his name. There we go, Mark Bishop. Um, uh, it's almost like common idea about." Uh, LAPD is that they would just roll over and be like, oh, okay, you're dealing with it. And Eleven K Roger, en route. You're a goddamn menace. Yes, I am. So a bit of extras. <laughs> it's just, um, Stephen Merchant's character asks um, Ashley, is it Ashley, on a date? No, Maggie on a date. <laughs> and he comes back over to Ricky Gervais and he's like, did she say yes? He goes, and he goes, yeah. And he goes, she's, <laughs> she's more desperate than I thought. And he goes, yes, she is. <laughs> <Something like> that. <laughs> You have no idea what I'm talking about, but if you've watched it, then you'd be like, oh, yeah. I didn't explain that joke very well. But, um... Yes, she is. Hello, Detective Phelps. Here to interview a Jessica Hamilton. Jessica Hamilton? Oh, yes. She's in the room, right behind you, Detective. Why do I feel like I know that? You can't hold me here. No! I don't need to be manhandled by a doctor. I need my lawyer. Hey, where is the <laughs> Pretty funny how the doctor just drags him in, <laughs> shuts the door. Um, I think I know where I, where I am, where she's from, and I'll tell. I will say You're after the, better since this, this morning, bit. Jessica. A little. My head still feels swimmy. Head trauma and soft tissue damage sustained in car accident. Uh, vest, vest. Vestigial traces, vestigial traces of chloral hydrate and bloodstream, external bruising to genitals, and other evidence of criminal abuse. I mean, age fifteen. It's um. Oh, it's just it really is like quite a dark game, really. Hello, Jessica. Uh, my name is Cole Phelps. I'm a policeman. I'd like to talk to you about your accident, if that's okay. 
Um, okay. Um, crash incident report. Can you tell me what you remember about the crash? It's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. No, because we found your pants. Tell the truth, Jessica. Why the big cover-up? I'm not lying to you. We found your underwear. We found your underwear in your handbag, Jessica. You need to tell us what happened. The doctor told me what happened. I, I didn't want that. I just wanted to be a star, to be in movies. I told Junie what happened, and she told me to toughen up. <coughs> that me. was the price of stardom. Did she now, cold-hearted <coughs> bitch? It's not Junie's fault. It's not my first time. I had a boyfriend back home, but my father found out about him. Even if you consented, Jessica, you're still underage. Contact with parents. We need to get in touch with your parents, Jessica, to tell them what has happened. Oh, you don't need to worry them. They sent me along to stay with Aunt June. They trust her to take care of me. Uh, no, because obviously we, we read that letter. You're lying, Jessica. How are we going to make this right if you lie to us? Please, detective, why would I lie to you? Letter from the mother. Because you're a runaway, Jessica, and you don't have your parents' permission to be here. Now, do you want to tell me what really happened? I went with Junie to this strange place. It's difficult to remember. Someone gave me a drink to calm my nerves, and then I felt faint. I think I must have passed out. Um, what's your association with Mark Bishop? How did you meet Mr. Bishop? Well, Junie is a big movie star. You probably know that. She's doing a new movie. Um, so we're looking here. I just want to think about that, but... Mm, I will go for bad cop. What's the story with Bishop and Mrs. McAfee? Why does he want the two of you dead? That can't be true. Mr. Bishop seemed very happy today. I mean, yesterday. And that's why he wedged a shrunken head against the accelerator pedal and punted the two of you over an escarpment? I overheard Junie speaking to him on the phone a couple of times. Screaming, really. She can be very hard sometimes, Junie. But they seemed okay yesterday, like they worked it out. Evidence of criminal abuse. I know what happened to you, Jessica. Where exactly did it take place? Please, it's scary. It's really difficult to think of anything. A uh, bad cop. What Someone you... tried to kill you, Jessica. Do you get it? Forget about being in movies. It's time to act like a grown-up. I had to wear a robe and lay down on a stone. There were lights, a camera. It's not my fault. I'm not a bad girl. Why are you trying to hurt me? Thank you, Jessica. You've been a big help. Here's my card. If you think of anything or you need some help, just get in touch, okay? Okay. I think it might be a good idea if you went back home till you felt better, Jessica. I couldn't do that, officer. What if I got the part and I wasn't there? Well, that would that is that is true. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. That. Oh. The tale of this town. Cole. In a second. Lambs that go willingly to slaughter. Who the hell is that? Must be her lawyer. He certainly expedited her release. I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in such a hurry? We should follow her. There she goes. Come on. There she goes again. She calls my name. <gasps> that would be a bad time. Maniac. To to drive, Cole. Yeah, anyway, that that uh receptionist or nurse. Um I think she's the lady in Mad Men. definitely up to something. In Mad Men. 
like a lot of this cast, Cole, oh god, um, the actor who plays Cole Phelps in Mad Men, I can't actually say I've ever watched Mad, no I've watched like one episode of Mad Men, um, I will get into it at some point. She seems to have made a remarkably speedy recovery. Uh, I think Dudley Lynch, who is in uh, the ep two episodes ago, the barman, or the no, the episode before, um, he's in it as well, the actor. But enough about Mad Men. Get in there and see what she's up to. <laughs> Just having a little look around. Okay, I'm supposed to go in now. No, I don't want him taught a lesson. You know what I want. Well, then make someone else do it. You still know people out here, don't you? Then make some calls. I'm gonna be very clear about this. You get this done, or I'm... Wilson's Hotel. Mr. Mark Bishop, that son of a bitch, lives in apartment 803. Sure, I got the film. That did say in inaudible, but um, you could just make out what you were saying. And he said something along the lines of um, them, them tablets are making you moody or you know how it affects your mood. So she's smacked up to her tits and valium, rolling around the place. A hothead. So what's the story? I'm guessing she didn't stop for light refreshments. She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble headed his way. I've got an address. Wilson's Hotel, apartment 803. Oh shit, you better step on it. If he's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he wouldn't have tried bumping off Guy McAfee's wife in the first place. Or he'd have done the job properly. McAfee will break a fella's legs just for looking at his problem. What did you make of the kid? you believe her story? I think she was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. Yeah, she did, didn't she? So if Ballard was doing someone a favor, why did they try to kill her? Are you blind? I get I am speeding, but that guy can surely look behind him and see that there's someone coming viciously behind him into the lane he's about to pull out into. Get to the apartment before someone gets hurt. Gun it like G unit without the hyphen. <laughs> I tried to stop them. It's it's room eight oh three, left out of the elevator. Sounds like we're about to make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. Where'd that come from? Free being hat trick. I didn't know that Americans used it. Give it up, LAPD! I'm about to break your goddamn job. Just wanna grapple him. 
Chuck him into a door. One time. Oh, he's down now. <laughs> Hired goons. Are you injured, Mrs. Bishop? I'm all right now. Those horrible, awful men. Perhaps you should sit down, ma'am. Yes. 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 Forgive me, officers. I'm very flushed. I'll just sit down for a moment. That's perfectly normal, ma'am. Take a moment while we look around. Yes. Thank you. Just look at this mess. Her hair is similar to Will Smith in like season two of The Fresh Prince. Let's have a look. Eddie Watson. Wayson. Doesn't look like anything. Oh, don't diss Eddie Wayson. Looks like a mermaid in the background. Silver screen. Who are these men in the picture? My husband, Mark. And Marlon Hopkins. They work together on occasion. That's Hopkins' job. No, I don't think that's going to be anything. I wonder if that's a real film. No, it's not. It's by Mark Bishop. So, obviously, fictional film. Some money. Take a smarter man than me to connect that. Why well, isn't it always about money, Phelps? Come on, you should know that by now. Looks like the old movie set downtown. Great Wall of Babylon. A replica of a replica. Intolerance. That is a real film by D.W. Griffiths. You made that after making Birth of a Nation. Uh, the latter being a, a pro KKK film in 1912. Then he made Intolerance. <laughs> Completely different direction. What do you have to do to earn $20,000? But the set of Intolerance was like um, unprecedented. In, it, in its size, it's it was maybe even by today's standards, I'm not sure, but I know that there's some interesting facts about that size of that film set. Um, I think maybe it did shit at the box office, or... I don't know. I can't remember. I cannot remember. Presented to Mark. What a hideous ornament. Okay. Domestic disturbance. Those men. I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No. Why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? That slut. She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. There's something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his new in his business. Well, I don't believe you. But um there's um nothing here to suggest that that contradicts what she's saying. June Ballard said she had a deal to be in his new picture. Mark repeatedly told her no. He had Joan Leslie lined up for the role. That's how he got the finance. June made all kinds of threats. She was very rude to me. You know June Ballard? We were both on the same picture a few years back. That's how I met my husband. Do you know where Mark Bishop is? Where can we find your husband, ma'am? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. Uh, you might be talk you might be telling the truth there to be fair you and that barnet 
we find him or McAfee's people do, Mrs. Bishop. If you care for him, you should make sure that we find him first. I do care for him. But I don't really know where he'd go if you were in trouble. Hopgood might know. Okay. Check for 20 grand we found on your floor. Why is your husband paying oh, yeah, Lorna just Hopgood Lorna. $20,000? Lorna? Marlon's ex-wife? Are you sure? Um, yeah, I should have read that out, actually, when I picked it up. But um, it said, like, Hopgood, I thought, and then, but I couldn't work out the first um, name. But obviously, this is a new character. Um, her, uh, Marlon's ex-husband, Lorna. You're lying, Mrs. Bishop. It's some kind of payoff. You know exactly what the money is for and who it's getting paid to. Do I? Would you like to prove that, detective? Your husband looks like he's being blackmailed. They obviously have something on him if he's prepared to kill to cover it up. Why is the payment going to Hopgood and not McAfee? Lorna works at a check cashing place in Hollywood. You need to ask Hopgood why he needs that much money in- So her name was circumstantial. Abuse of Jessica Hamilton. Your husband was at a casting yesterday with a young girl? Not that I know of. He told me he was looking at locations. The picture's been cast. It's very topical this, isn't it? Um, with the Harvey Weinstein, Weinstein trial going on. And it shows that it's so systemic, systemic that uh, even in the 40s and it was a common occurrence. Um, we found the underwear, the letter from that. I think it's the recent drug. Yeah, I think it's just bad cop. Jessica remembered a mermaid. The mermaid on the front of the prop store. You better come clean with me. This is a sick town, detective. Are you sure you really want to know? The truth is, my husband likes them young. And you think that's okay? I was 16 when I first met him. I thought he was a genius. A magician with film. I was 20 before I realized he was just a B-movie hack. But he's nothing compared to some of the monsters at these big studios. My guess is, Ballard sacrificed her little friend. Happens to a lot of girls. Your husband is in trouble. It could go easier for him if you were more helpful, Mrs. Bishop. He's a big boy, detective, and so are you. This is Hollywood. There's always a deal to be done. Pretty good bit of dialogue there, isn't it? Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, detective? I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Just a moment. Silver screen props, corner third and Figueroa. Thanks for your help. So, June Ballard um, gave her up to be a uh, to get a role in the film um, we done here right we're going an aging movie star a wannabe starlet his wife they're finally rubbing shoulders with the almost recent famous and from the stories they've given us clearly none of them Boom. clearly that's mad, that girl, um... What's her face up there, for fuck's sake? My memory's really shot today, I do apologise. Yes, it Mark Bishop's wife, Gloria. Um, she spoke like a 40-year-old would, married to a movie producer, not a 26-year-old. She seems so weathered. Mrs. Bishop knows more than she's letting on. She doesn't seem to realise how much trouble her husband is in. 
The LAPD are the least of their worries right now. Yeah. You think she'd have gotten the hint after those hatchet man redecorated her apartment? Maybe she's just loyal. Or she's in on it. She didn't seem like your average giddy broad with nothing between the ears. Or she might just be trying to buy enough time for Bishop to put a couple of oceans between him and McAfee. No, she seems like she's been dragged through the mud and come out much wiser on the other side. That, like, Jessica was here like 11 years ago. Jesus, Cole! Sorry, Stefan. So, we're gonna go to the studio of Marlon Hopgood. And hopefully speak to him. Do you, these cars drive within the rules of the law, but they still like don't calibrate themselves for idiots like me, and I think they should calibrate themselves. Big old titties. Kind of gives you a good idea what sort of films they produce here. It's in the darkness. Get a, open the open the window. Phelps and Bukowski, LAPD. We are investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Christ. I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here. How'd you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. A hospital um, chair. Keep him here, Stefan. I'm going to take a look around. What's this got to do with me? Don't try my patience, knucklehead. This may take a little bit of time because it's so big. But I'll get through it the best I can. Sorry, I will get through it the best I can. This is a toilet. Top good. Why would I want to do that? Humor it. Huh. One way mirrors. There's a room on Ugh. the other side. Huh. Well, well. Find a way into that peep den, Phelps. I'll stay here and keep our pervert company. Shrunken head. What's this? Doping a 15 year old kid and abusing her in a screen test. What is wrong with these Maybe people? habit forming antidote. So, where's that chloral hide? Some sort of sedative. sedative. Oh. It's another one of these heads. Let's go around here. Gay cowboys. That's the. Uh, same film as what was that Mark Bishop's Bishop, Mark Bishop's house the um oh we've got another, another one of these so we'll go ahead and do that right now listen I uh, have to call you back Got some business here. Sit down, Courtney. This is Mickey. Mickey, this is Courtney Sheldon. 
What would you like to drink? Scotch. Straight up. I hear you're back at school learning to be a doctor, kid. Yes. That's right, Mr. Cohen. So you want to be a doctor and a dope peddler. Interesting combination, huh? Do we have a problem, Mr. Cohen? We might have, yeah. Selling your dope to my boy Lenny looked like a good move, but Lenny has been supplying uh, wholesale, so to speak. The Bindle boys in this town aren't used to the juice without a little of the middleman taking his cut. Lenny promised that wouldn't happen, Mr. Cohen. And Lenny works for you. What can I say about Lenny? Let me think. Oh, yeah, he's a putz. And he's lazy, and he's greedy, but he's my wife's brother. And how can you make a cake with those ingredients, huh? Please. <laughs> uh. So how is that my problem, Mr. Cohen? Well, kid, the only way we're going to be able to make this work is to do some repackaging. We need to get the dope out of those dinky little cardboard boxes and... Surrettes. Yeah, surrettes. Great. We can put it into a big vat so we can water it down a little bit. I won't bore you with the chemistry, but it doesn't work that way. You're likely to kill even more people. Okay, listen. We want to buy you out, kid. I'll offer you 50 grand. Hey. Hey! You don't like my offer? The Sheldon kid? I think I want him dead. Mickey Cohen. Um, yeah, Mickey Cohen. Yeah, he's a, he was a real guy. Come on, we're gonna find out what's happened. Now what's going on? Well, it's obviously just loading, but it's taking its sweet ass time. There we go, it's the same head. This is where you sprang from. Same prop which was used used to um, push down the accelerator. What we have? What do we have here? Tell you what, first time I played this game, and I couldn't I couldn't find that that, that clue anywhere. And I was like, what the fuck am I looking for? I was walking around for absolutely ages. Um, because you, you see it here, you just don't think to go over towards it. Um, but obviously, if you see through, when you see through the mirror, I don't know, I was, I was young at the time. Let's have a little look at the pictures. Um, Bishop pictures. Jungle drums. Jungle Drums, 8th and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop. Uh, sword. Oh my god, this is so disgusting. So what happened to the film of Hamilton's screen test? Some liquor. I think that's liquor anyway. And there we go. I'm not sure if these are like underage girls or not. Um but yeah, obviously pretty pretty fucking disgusting. Let's go and speak to Hoppers, as he's known to his mates. The hop dog. Give him a slap round the cheeks. What's your association with Mark Bishop? You ever do any work for Mark Bishop? Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. So yeah, when Bishop is doing work for a studio, yes. When did you last see him? Now I'm doing work for his next picture. 
Still pre-production though. <sighs> I haven't seen him around here in oh. a while. Have a look in the notebook. Have a, he hasn't seen him there for a while. Um, evidence of Mark paying to suppress personal scandals. Um, on set, empty canister. I mean, I'm thinking the empty film canister, to be honest. Let's accuse him. I know you're lying, Hopgood. Bishop was here, and you know exactly what he was doing and what he left lying around afterwards. You come in here without a warrant, and now you start throwing your weight around? Yeah, we're going to go for the uh, empty film canister. I have a drugged-up 15-year-old girl, and you have chloral hydrate in your drinks cabinet. You give me something, or I will break your fucking jaw, Hopgood. Bishop was here with you and Ballard and the girl. A, a lot of producers and directors use this place. I'm not responsible for what goes on here. Where is Mark Bishop? McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. It looks like he's saying it quite straight up. I mean, it just because he's such a horrible, sinister character, you just don't really want to press good cop. Um, but I just can't see. Um, let's have a quick look for the notebook again. Prop film rule his whereabouts. Uh, oh, well that. Ah, uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna go for a cues. You have something on him, and now you're gonna rat him out to McAfee's goons. I'm not feeling confident about this boy. one, and I really am. Um, he's last reported to be on set, but that doesn't really work. I'm feeling more... Um, I'm going to back out and go for... Ba I'm just feeling this one a bit like more... Like I made a mistake. Shite. I'm warning you, Hopgood. If you give him up to McAfee and we find out about it, Wind it back a notch, tough guy. Okay, you, what's your relationship is. with... Is it June Ballard or Jean Ballard? June. What's the deal with you and June Ballard? Look, buddy, I make props. I hardly ever meet the talent unless it's something tailor-made for them, like a sword or something. I mean, this must be a cue. What's the relationship between you two? What puts them together? What puts him and June Ballard together? Nothing I can find, to be honest. Uh, back up. Oh, God. Ballard was out, then she's in, then Bishop visits this place and goes crazy. You're in it somehow. These clowns fuck young girls on the couch. The girls think they're going to be stars. They really put their backs into it. It's a price they're willing to pay. None of them will press charges. That's all for now, Hopgood. We're taking you in. Bells. Roy Earl, advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. You've been roughing up my informant? Hopgood is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important one. Look at that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlon? So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. You need to catch the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. Let it slide, Cole. Let's get out of here. Detectives. Johnny Goldberg. You work for Mickey C. That's right, detectives. You wouldn't happen to know the guys who roughed up Mrs. Bishop earlier today by any chance. No, no, not us. We don't do that kind of thing. It's the husband we'd like to talk to. This is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for obstruction of justice, do you boys? You could try the obstruction rap, but uh, it won't stick. We could beat that. You've had your 10 cents worth, gentlemen. Bishop knows how the world works. Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie part. Happens every day. But 
Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally, Guy is going to get upset. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. Those two guys have got some unfinished business. You let us know if you find Bishop. Guy McAfee can be a very generous man. I'm only going to warn you once, gentlemen, to stay out of this. This is a police matter. We will be bringing Mark Bishop into custody. <laughs> At least he's polite. Kind of dumb, but polite. But I'm a lot less polite, you smug son of a bitch. So let me put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might understand. The only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop, and you stay away from me. Is that clear enough for you, asshole? Now run along back to your boss so we can pat you on the head and tell you what good boys you are. Oh, shit. I don't think they like your little pep talk, Bukowski. Oh, evade or subdue the mod mobsters. I think I want to evade. Oh, you motherfucker. They really don't want anybody getting to business before they I don't want you to set the shot. I want to escape. From here, Cole. This car is so slow. Go on. We need to lose those fools, Phelps. Come on. Let's lay into his wheel arches. I'll try for the tires. Keep your foot down. Cool. Done him. <laughs> Let's see him chase us now. Onto the movie set, Phelps. Let's roll. Oh, Christ. And they say working traffic is like watching paint dry. <sighs> you know how to piss people off, Bukowski. Hey, if they're prepared to gun down cops in broad daylight, McAfee really means business. Seems like we're the only ones who want Bishop alive. I have a good mind just to let him go work on the son of a bitch. I'm about done putting my life on the line to protect some child molester. That's our job, unfortunately. They don't get to dole out the justice. <laughs> It's the Intolerance or Jungle Drums film set. Oh, Bukowski's lost his hat. There's a slippery bastard now. No. God damn it! Mark Bishop, stop! LAPD! Oh, he's Intolerance film set. The narratives in this are really convoluted, um, which is a good thing. Does I like I like you, Bishop. Um, this is all a big mistake. films and games that make you think that they just put everything on a plate for you. They require a bit of um, thinking on your part. Us or McCaffrey? Where's he now? Boys, your choice. I didn't do anything. It's automatic jump, isn't it? So. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. It's quite an agile fella. For a tubby little pedo. Bishop, that's enough. Where'd he go now? Yeah, I'd have, I'd have just let him rot, to be honest, rather than going through all this hassle. But that's Cole Phelps. Ah, oh, shit. Don't make this any harder on yourself, Bishop. Not just running in a straight line. Oh, come on, stop now. Stop, you fat fuck. Move another inch and you're dead. 
Goodness. Mark Bishop, you're under arrest for the attempted murder of June Ballard and the rape and attempted murder of Jessica Hamilton. All right, I'll come quietly. Just don't kill me. If you found me, then McAvee's goons will too. Oh, we need we need to get out of here. All right, but you stay close. Any tricks, and I'll save McAfee's boys the trouble. Follow me. I know another way out of this place. You're certainly punching with Gloria. Police detective, they're trying to kill me. Last chance to back the hell down. Eh? Oh, right, it's this way. Come on, pop up. Pop up. Get his gun, Tommy. It's this way. Yeah, we got his like a semi-automatic rifle. LAPD, you're making a big mistake. Can you explain them explode? Oh my God's sake! I don't want to die. That's the no, the answer to that. Here. I thought you said you knew where going. Yes. We have to jump for it. Is this really the best McAfee's got? Find some cover. And it's the electric oh. chair. What are you doing, you fucking leap? Up here. Oh my god. Oh, right in there. You have to get me out of here. Popping them off. This is Quite an epic ending to uh, this mission, isn't it? I suppose it's quite apt for uh, movie orientated. Let's just heal a little bit. Oh! Oh here, is this it? I don't want to die here. Can we slide? Like him? There we can. Oh, imagine your hands and that. Get him over here, I'll cover you! Come on! The cavalry's here! Still loads more, isn't there? Am I getting shot at still? Oh, oh I should have done that first of all, just wipe them all out. That was good, that's satisfying. Still more? Follow me. We need to get him to the car. Yep. Reload. Up here. What I really need is like for Kelsey to act like um, Ed in Shaun of the, in Shaun of the Dead. Two o'clock. Ten o'clock. Ten thirty. What? <laughs> Seven. Seven forty-five. Keep it simple! Oh, still more. Oh no, that's please. Oh no, it's, it's both. Oh no! Why was he wearing a fucking brown suit? Why was he wearing a brown suit? I expected all of them to be gangsters, apart from the, the blues that turn up. Please don't let me go right to the top of the build. Yeah, that's not too. That's not too Get bad. Get over here! I'll cover you. Come on, the cavalry's here. Got my hat back as well. Those 
Oh yeah. Yeah, he doesn't make the rules. Slamo. Slamma bama. Follow me. We need to get him to the car. Alright. I try not to kill someone, LAPD an innocent bystander. Or so. Up there. Isn't it? How long do you think you can hold out? Sweet mate. Yes, mate. Pick up weapon. I was. Oh. Is this really the best? Yeah, I'm gonna give this got? Tommy gun. Well, I try not to kill. So who was it then? I guess I must have... I shot him last time. Am I going mad? I don't know who to... I'm just worried about... Right, I, I know... I guess I must have just... Stay down. Killed a policeman in the crossfire. Last one. Come here, come here. I swear I killed that guy with the brown suit, and that's what made me fail the mission last time. Now this is what I call a result. Mark Bishop, erstwhile film producer and all-around piece of shit, catches a fast ticket to Quentin for stash rape and attempted murder, so he gets to spend the next 15 years playing sissy. Instead of sticking it to little girls. That is justice with a capital J, Detective Phelps. You felt such a reputation, I'm not gonna be able to hold on to you any longer. You're getting promoted. Go on, get your new assignment. Leapfrogged Bukowski. Yeah, mate. I think we're into homicide next. Which is sick. Phelps, Bukowski, this your work? Can I help you, detective? Sorry, Cap, didn't see you there. Yeah, I'll bet you did. This is a traffic case. You need something? I'm here to buy a drink for the two LAPD traffic cops who broke the back of Guy McAfee's private army. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Captain? Go right ahead. Get in. I'm buying. Jazz Cole, the hopheads love it. Sure, I guess. Big bands and swing, I can understand, but this bebop palaver? How are you supposed to dance to that? This is Phelps, Leroy. Be nice to him. You'll like this place. They treat you right. You like a table, Roy? What do you think we want to do? Stand at the bar like I'll chumps? I'll get a table ready for you. Don't look so happy to see me, Alphonse. I might get the wrong impression. Cole, this is Alphonse. He's a French Negro from Africa. Can you beat that? The Congo. A pleasure to meet you, Alphonse. Is Elsa singing tonight? Yes, she is. She has the next set. Come on, Cole. You can meet Elsa while they're fixing us a table. You'll like her. She's something else. Maybe another night, Roy. She's pretty beat up about it. Get your hands off me. Don't ever tell me what to do or what not to do, Alphonse. You got a nice club here. Don't spoil it. If you will follow me, detectives. Just through the door. He was my only real friend, Harlan. We went through it all. Do you realize what he meant to me? Of course I do. You I have no idea. You said it was construction work. It was an industrial accident, Elsa. How can I be held responsible? Elsa, are you going on? Louis, for God's sake, he was my best friend. The only man who ever loved me without putting his hands on me. Hi, Elsa. 
Here's someone I'd like you to meet. Cole Phelps, war hero and crime fighter extraordinaire. And why would I want to meet another fascist from the LAPD? Sorry about this, Cole. What an evening I'm having. First a Negro puts his hands on me, and then this. <coughs> Who do you think you're talking to, you German junkie whore? Don't you ever forget your place with me again. Do you hear me? Evening, Doc. How's business? Sanguine. Louis, help me here. I'm gonna have to give her something before her performance. Blow it off, Cole. These artsy-fartsy types always get a little flighty. Meet Dr. Harlan Fontaine, doctor to the stars. Mr. Fix-It to the mental wreckage of Hollywood. So what about that drink, boys? Well, come. Um. Wow, that was a long one. Almost hit, hitting an hour and ten minutes, but we've been promoted. So I guess this was kind of the uh, a spe the uh, spectacular ending to it. Um, yeah, obviously Doctor Harlan Fontaine there, who's sort of like shimmering into um, the current narrative, the contemporary narrative. But uh, okay, I'll, I'll leave it there. Uh, thank you very much for joining me once again. I've been Zilla Shots, and please comment, uh, like, and subscribe.